Hello, my name is Tom Borstoff. I'm a service engineer with Van Air Systems. Today we're going to replace the pneumatic limit switches on a inlet transfer valve. There's two kits that have the pneumatic limit switches in them. You can get the pneumatic limit switches by themselves in a kit that's a 14-0797 and there's a right and left pneumatic limit switch so you have to be careful how you mount them on the valve that they're mounted in the correct orientation. Or you can get the pneumatic limit switches with the complete manifold block and pneumatic limit switches and that's a 14-1037 is our part number on that. Uh, you usually don't need the complete manifold block. All it is is a ported manifold block and the manifold block hardly ever ever goes bad. So you only, you only really need is the pneumatic limit switches on the unit when you're, if you have a bad pneumatic limit switch go bad. Now normally if a pneumatic limit switch goes bad it's either going to stay jammed in the activated position or it'll become very hard to activate and the switch should activate freely into the uh, activated position and snap back by itself so you should be able to see it snap back freely. If it's not doing that or if it's allowing control air pressure through as we show you how to bench test the pneumatic limit switch when it's not activated you have to replace it. There is no rebuild kits for the pneumatic limit switches and they're just basically mounted on the valve with three screws each. Just take the screws out you can lift the pneumatic limit switch right off the manifold block. Now the other thing is to take the valve apart, okay, to pull the shuttle out of the valve, you actually literally have to take one of the pneumatic limits, which is off the manifold block, to allow the position indicator arm to move far enough to allow the shuttle to come out of the valve body. And you're going to see when you take this, after you take the screws out. Then un underneath each one of the pneumatic limit switches is there's three O-ring seals in there. So when you replace the pneumatic limit switch with a new new switch, okay, you got to make sure that you replace it with the limit switch that has the seals, the o the pilot ports for the pneumatic limit switch facing the, the manifold block of the pneumatic limit switch. Pneumatic limit switch. If you put the other one on, it'll fit on there. They're exempt opposite, but you'll see that the actual pilot ports for the limit switches are on the end, up top side. It wouldn't activate properly. So again, there is a right and left pneumatic limit switch. When you replace them, just make sure that you're mounting them correctly on the valve body and make sure that the three O-ring seals is in place on the manifold block. That's all you have to do.